Hey guys, what is going on? Bleaker here, and today we are back with another episode of Factorio, as played by an engineer. In between episodes, I did a little bit of work here. Um, what that work was, I don't quite remember. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, as you can see here, I've set up lanes, which ultimately we're going to use... We're ultimately going to use these lanes. Um, we're going to bust stuff down, is the term that I hear used most often, like bust down raw resources. And we're actually going to build our factory around these couple of buses. This bus will carry iron. Um, this one will carry copper. This one will probably end up carrying uh, iron gears, um, electrical circuits. But that's not what today's episode is about. Today's episode is about, if you'll notice right here, something, I did something over there. What was it? God, what was it? Oh, I remember. I have set up the beginnings of our smelting area. Now, first, I'm going to need a lot of stone furnaces here. Now, the proper way that I have found to set up this area is to actually build it so that you can fit in electric furnaces. Now, for those of you who don't know, an electric furnace takes up an area pretty much equal to that. That much area is how much an electric furnace takes up, whereas a normal furnace takes up a normal steel and stone furnace take up that much area. So I built this area in mind, being able to adapt it to that larger space. So I made sure I had plenty of room in between my areas, and so when I upgrade to electric furnaces, that should not inter interfere. So let's just kind of go around here. I, I made an outline here just so I knew what I was doing. So we'll do the first set of furnaces here. There should be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 6. Oh, cool. I also did some research off camera just because that was... I had resources to spare for a change. So I've made basically... I think I have a spacing issue here. Yeah, that's a spacing issue, all right. There we go, that's looking a little better. So I like doing uh, things like this in like good, in um, programming numbers. Like 32, that is a good programming number. That is, um. 2 to the... Uh, eighth, I want to say? No. Yes, no, no. Um, let's see here. Yeah, either way, it's... um. Either way, it's a power of 2. So it's a good programming number. So this one will become our, our um, iron production. So now that we've got our furnaces set up here, we're going to bring... We're going to bust down one line for coal. We're going to bust down one line, or two lines for our resources. In this case, iron will go here, and iron will go here. And then we got a pick from the lane, which means I didn't build near enough long-handed inserters, so I'm going to do 32 of those. Basically, I'm going to do a lot. So what's going to happen here is... Resources, 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 and so on. So these will pick our iron in this case, or our copper, or whatever else we're going to end up cooking down here. I made plenty of room so we can do one, two, three, four other things on top of our... So ultimately this will be copper. This will be iron that we use in steel production, and then stone brick. Um, stone brick is, um, for early game, is kind of useless, so I'm going to end up setting that up last. Oh, he's made uh, 48 inserters, that, long-handed inserters, that's not bad. So then these inserters will pick up our coal off of the middle belt and feed it into our stone furnaces. Now why I like to do it this way is because um, it may not be the most efficient way of doing it, but at least I'm shoving two belts worth of resources down here. If that makes sense, because um, I've noticed if I just feed one belt on a like a group of 32, it's not enough. Actually, I don't even think of that. Um, 32 is going to be able to satisfy my factory by the time it's all done, which is why I made this pretty easy to expand out. That's my big thing, is I like to make these adaptable factories that I can more or less adapt to my needs. So then off of that... Oh, I definitely built these way too close together. Whoops! 
sudden lack of planning on my part, and I will admit, and I will own up to that. But I'm gonna get this one set up and finished before I correct the rest of them. I think I just need to move them down a few spaces. But um, for a more in-depth uh, tutorial of there we go. For a more in-depth tutorial, I have an actual video of me going over this in much more specifics. For this episode, I'm just trying to quick pump it out so you guys can, so we can actually get some significant resources being produced here. That's looking pretty okay. And then off of that, normal inserter, inserter, inserter. Yep, yep, yep. Good, fine, dandy. Great, great, fine, great. Good, good, good. Oop, screwed it up. Good. So I will definitely, I will link that in the description below if you want to see a way more in-depth version of what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about, but you guys might not. If you want me to go over anything more in-depth, I will totally do that. Um, another request I've seen for this series is to actually do the Angel or, no, Bob's Mod? Or the Angel or Bob's Mod? I don't remember what it's called, but to do the Angel Or's Mod. If you guys, Jesus Christ, I'm doing great! on my research. But anyways, if you guys want to see more on that, if you actually want to see me struggle through the Angel Ors mod, which I don't think I'm giving myself enough credit, I could probably figure it out. I know plenty of really good tutorials I can learn from, but if you want to see me do that, it's it basically throws in extra ores. You don't get like basic ores. You have to take your ores and then you have to process them to even get your copper, your iron and stuff. It basically just throws in another level of complexity into um, Factorio, which is great. I welcome the challenge. Steel. I'm gonna need steel before I can do too much with that. So that is how your smelting area should end up looking. Minus the electricity. I'm actually kind of bad with that. Uh, electricity. Come on. There we go. Electric pull, electric pull, electric pull. Electric pull, 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 pull. And looking good. Nice, now that has power more or less. Uh, yeah, we'll just bring it right through this, I'm not too worried. Oh, that pull's gonna be off center, that's gonna drive me nuts later. Sweet. And now that is ready to receive resources. So, that's good. Now for our, my next act, um, for my next act, I'm going to need more inserters. Any willing volunteers? Those are splitters. Where's my inserter box? There we go. Oh, not quite that many. That many should do pretty averagely. And let's get some... Just a ton of electric mining drills being built. Can't believe I haven't automated that process yet. Oh, why, why is this not connected here? Did I do something and kind of forget about it? Yeah, I just forgot to add that. Oops. Whoops. My bad. Now, um, popular misconception, I'm not keeping this starting area. About the only thing I'm keeping here is the coal to the my generators. That's the only thing I'm keeping here. This whole area, except maybe minus the... Hmm... The lab, I think. The lab setup I might keep. Ah, oh, man. The starting area ultimately will be gone. I will create another alternate um, area and to do that in my main factory. Like, we haven't even, you haven't even seen my main factory yet. This thing is going to be huge. Just, just huge. I don't have any electric mining drills, so I can't do the next portion of this because I don't have those. But to make a long story slightly less long, and only slightly, I'm gonna draw my iron from right here, which means I'm gonna need a coal deposit right there. Where's the next nearest coal deposit? Over here, over here. Looks like I'm drawn from one of these. So let's make a line off of those. It's gonna be ugly, but it's gonna work. So I really wanna be drawn off of here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to... Actually, nope, that is a horrible spot for that. What was I thinking? Now we're cooking with... Coal? Huh. 
so I don't want to bring it that way because that's going to in probably interfere with the inputting of my resources. My main factor here. Now normally when I do this, I would have like my belts, I would have my bus be here and then my smelting facility here, but for this episode I kind of, or but for this series, I'm trying something a little different. I'm going to like base my smelting facility in a separate, a, um, at a location off to the side just so that I can do a greater expansion if my factory so requires the resources and knowing how big this factory gets in like basically my factory gets very big very quickly and with my modular designs that I have kind of perfected here um, it can get out of hand very very quickly in terms of resource consumption Oh, Jesus Christ, I am doing phenomenal flammables, probably. What's that going to get me? Anything good? Alien science? Yeah, I'm going to need that. Saved it. I can fix it later. Trust me, I am an expert. I've got this. Trust me, I'm an engineer. Dear God, third time's the charm, please. Thank you. Oh, I was right. Hang on. Trust me, I do promise you, I am an engineer. Kind of, sort of, maybe. I deal with automation a lot. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. And that's a lie. I have absolutely no clue. I'm kind of making this up as I go along. And that's bringing in the coal. I'll clean that up later. Let's really quick get our iron roll in here. Create a parallel circuit there. Don't want to do that. And let's really quick just get iron off the ground here. That's, that's wrong. Bad bleaker. Bad bleaker. Nope. Gee willikers. I sure am frustrated. Bring in that. Holy crap, I'm just blazing through all this research here. Uh, I'm gonna need sulfur at some point. Yeah, let's just do that. So I'm gonna want my resources to split, you know, semi-equally between these two. So let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, eh, close enough. What I'm gonna do here is a little design that I picked up. It, it kind of, a little design that I picked up, it kind of works to a varying degree. It usually works better with two lines being input in it, but for my purposes it should suffice. Now let's see here, that, random two away, one, two. I don't know why it works, just trust me, it works. I am an engineer after all. And I can verify that this thing kind of, sort of, works part of the time? 50% of the time it works all the time. And that is my personal guarantee. So got that line there. What do you got here? And just take you and run you right in there. Oops, I already goofed this up. Done goofed. Nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. I am the best ever. Just ask my mommy, she can verify for me. Do, 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 do. Nice, nice. Now we're just gonna really quick hook up the power. And see the smelting happening. There we go. Well, 
Look at it. Look at it sort. First piece of coal. First piece of coal. Blowing up on a Tuesday. I'll, I'll stop now. And there she goes. Look at that. We're starting to smelt here. Ah, beautiful. B E A U T full. All right, guys, when we come back next time, I should have all of this fixed up and ready to bring in our copper. Look at all this copper we got here. That is great. I'm loving that. I'll bring in the copper. I'll bring in the other. Well, I'll bring in another. Is there another stockpile of iron anywhere around here? A little iron right down there. Some iron here, iron there. We'll start. I'll begin transporting in resources to the main smelting area here. And, uh, yeah, we'll have a good time. I really don't like how this side isn't seeing as much of the fill, but if I do that, problem kind of solved. Nice. All right, guys. See ya. Mm -hmm.